710 on this Saturday morning. Good morning and thank you for joining us here on CBS4 this morning. And take a live look from our library cam of downtown Denver. Boy, things changed overnight. Mm -hmm. Dave, like the trees were changing, but our <laughs> temperatures were in the 90s. Yeah, it? yeah, it was kind of weird. You know, we were still having leftovers this summer. There's a look at our mountain camera. The clouds extend all the way up into the high country. And in some cases, uh, north of I-70, still raining, still snowing down to about 9,000 feet this morning. And there's our lookout mountain camera. A lot of fog up there. So quite a change. You might actually look for a sweater today. Uh, it is uh, so chilly out there. Also, add into that, the last couple of mornings, we've had a little snow in some locations. Check out this shot. First snow of the season along Crested Butte with a little bit of uh, dusting going on there on the higher mountains. Here's a look at our temperature uh, profile across the state this morning. 40s and 50s, so it's a little colder here in the eastern plains than it has been the last several mornings. 40s and 30s up in the mountains. Now, here's the front as it came through last night. This was 9 o'clock last night. You could see the rain and the thunder storms from Denver uh, all the way up to Fort Collins in southern Wyoming here and already here in this picture you can see a few little pink shades there that's a little bit of snow up above 10,000 feet and this morning check this out it's going a little lower there down to about 9,000 feet right uh, from Summit County right along the Continental Divide up into Rocky Mountain National Park there so uh, from Denver up to Fort Collins we might get a little sprinkle coming through this morning added into some of the low cloudiness here's the system coming through you can see the cold front waggling through here and it's all connected to this big low up in Montana as well. High pressure over Nevada. Eventually, we'll slide that out. And we'll start to see some clearing maybe this afternoon on into tomorrow. But look at the temperatures across the nation. You can really see where that cold front is moving into Omaha and moving down to Albuquerque there. All right, there's also a hurricane to talk about. Hurricane Jose now is strengthening out there in uh, the Atlantic here. It looks like the latest track on this has it about, with about 80 mile per hour winds, still a long way from the coastline, but by Wednesday, Wednesday, it's going to come very close to the New England states uh, by Wednesday at midnight, just uh, east of New York City there. So we'll have to watch that guy. All right. Now, with our forecast here, we will have some clouds, maybe a sprinkle going on, and, and then some clearing this afternoon. I do believe we'll have mostly sunny skies by the end of the day going on. Temperatures-wise, though, a lot of green on the map, and green are 70-degree readings and 60-degree readings. So a lot of people cooling down across the state today. Here's my forecast now for you. 71, cloudy early early sunshine this afternoon and then 73 tomorrow for the Bronco game. There is a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm during the game and then we'll pop back into the low 80s by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with mostly sunny skies there. So we've got a few days with 70 degree readings there. It's been a while since we've had to put more yeah. than one on there. And where are the good places to see leaves? Uh, Northern Colorado. If you go along I-70, Guanilla Pass is looking good now. Rocky Mountain I National Park is looking good. Some of those pictures. The, yeah. There are some reds and we're maybe a week or two earlier than average, at least in northern Colorado, because it's been a little cooler up there. So uh, it's a good week to take pictures here, and uh, then the rest of the state should get into it in uh, weeks to come. And we'll enjoy all of it. Uh, we will indeed. Thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Parks are supposed to be a safe place for our kids to play, but a mom in Fort Collins says her four-year-old 